Hello and welcome back to Carmston Farm. We are in field one doing a fertilising contract. So the worker is going to get on and do that for us. Should bring in, let's have a look, around 30k. We can use our own fertiliser that we've made. So we haven't got to to fork out any cash for that so that's a good thing so what we are going to do now is head to the new cow barn and the massey should be there waiting for us so at the new cow barn we are shifting slurry into the mini bga we're also going to put in the manure that we've got uh, down here as well and we'll get uh, it filled up get it processing again and uh, making us some money and also the digestate then can go to the solid fertilizer production so we're uh, getting double bubble for it last 11,000 odd liters going in so now we can just jump in to the mini biogas plant in the production chains menu and activate that so that's got 47,000 litres to be going at so we will drop off the slurry tanker grab the Richard Weston trailer and uh, get some manure moved so we've got a full trailer of manure this time it has been a while since we shifted any from the new cow barn so that's good we won't activate it yet because it'll impact on the slurry processing so we'll let the slurry finish and then we'll start the manure off i think i just saw a contract pop up as yeah 70 something percent so that is cracking on through that field so that's good so we will park this back up i don't think there's enough in the pit to get another full trailer so we are going to grab the uh, Scania truck and the large trailer and we are going to move some from the old cow barn as well a quick detour before we shift manure to top up the first spreader we're about 90% through the contract so I think we will just quickly finish that there's no point to hiring a worker for such a small amount so we'll head back to field one and uh, get the fertilizing finished so the contract has just popped up with complete I think I just missed capturing that with the recording but uh, we'll head down to the end anyway and just finish it off I think we are having a nice steady episode today mainly due to the temperatures again in the UK being rather warm don't think I've got the uh, staying power to sit and seed a field today so it's going to be odd little jobs but uh, hopefully ones that uh, are reasonably interesting and like this one will bring us in a little bit of cash so there we go use much at all for that so jobs are good in so we will head off the field and then collect on the contract so twenty nine and a half thousand we'll call it for that collect on that brilliant now this can go back to the main farm if you can find it there we go That'll go back to the main farm and we can jump in the Scania. Filling up with manure now. And I think from memory we got something like 300 and... Yeah, so yeah, just under 300,000 litres that uh, we've got at our disposal. So it's going to go through the BGA and get converted into electricity, methane digestate which we can then use to make fertilizer and ultimately sell the electricity and the methane for a decent profit so 
up at Mini BGA. 63,000 litres of manure to go in. Come on. There we go. So I wonder if that's going to fill it up. Quite possibly. Yep, yeah, so what we've got 22,000 litres left in there. No problem at all. So for now, we will engine off and jump out because what I do want to do is with a nod to uh, to realism is to go into the correct menu for construction tools and we're going to put a little jet wash just there so that uh, we can rinse out the trailer we can rinse out the tanker if we need to etc and we haven't got to try and cram those uh, rather long vehicles into the main yard right so next job i think might be doing a very last cut of the grass before we start to re-drill it one job that i had uh, forgotten about we needed to do was pick up these 12 bags of seed and uh, get those back up to the farm because I think we've only got a couple of hundred litres left plus what is in the drill so we'll get these lowered down onto there back that up out of the way and that can then go back to the cow barn so let's find that cow farm fill that'll do nicely that should now disappear off up the road we can get these all strapped on Oop, press wrong button that might help there we go so we'll get these strapped up and uh, get these back to the farm ready for planting crops and reseeding our grassland right seeds all dropped off i've left it on the trailer for now just in case we need to uh, shift some up to a field um, what we do need to do before we cut anything grass wise is to get field 23 rolled I um, I did lime it in between episodes because uh, pH value was uh, pretty bad so that's all done so we'll go and get these rollers down to field 23. What I might do is set the Massey uh, mowing on course plate. See what sort of a job that does. I think I'm probably going to do it for silage. Um, it's not going to be a full silage episode again. Um, but yeah, we'll do it for silage and then we've got it to sell or to use um, for the cows should we need to so you'll see in the distance the Massey is just starting to mow field 35 for us so what I do want to do for this occasion is to save the course so it's field 35 mow and Fail. Okay, jobs are good, so that's fine. We can, yeah, that's going okay. Now I don't need to plough these fields, the grass ones. So 35, 4, 31, and 15. The only grass field that we should really plough at some point is field eight, um, and we'll see whether we get time to do that this year or whether that will need to be a next year job. Well, you learn something new every day. I probably should have rolled this before I limed it. As you'll see, it doesn't take the limed texture off, which I guess is accurate. I know um, it, uh, the rollers override every other planted texture, but clearly not with lime. So we're going to have to rely on the uh, help menu mini-map for... Uh, <laughs> where we've been and where we haven't which is um, going to make things a bit interesting but 
I'm sure we will manage. Rolling all finished. I did use GPS. It, uh, it was, uh, was going to take ages otherwise. So GPS was used. So now this can go back to the main farm, please. And we can find the... There we go. Right, so Massey is there and the JCB tractor is where? There we go. Right. Um, I messed up with the courses, so we will have to bail that. But we'll do that in a second. We'll get this one over here set off mowing this side. And uh, then grab the wrapper, possibly we have time so let's go into the course menu first so let's uh, change the mode and delete that one because it doesn't work user error change mode and we'll clear all the current courses so that's fine then into this one Create a job for the Massey, and that needs to be this field. Target position is there. Open that one. Two headlands. Field margin one. Keep it away. Maybe I'll do it as one. Keep it away from the edges. Generate me a course, please. Thank you, and go. Right. That is going to start that, and we can get on with the bailing. Last pass on the bailing in field 35, and we've done all right actually for bales. Um, it was the grass wasn't on its like final, fully grown uh, state, but uh, it still yielded reasonably well. Still trying to round over that bale. There are missed bits. But um, as this is just a additional cut, really, it's all extra that we wouldn't have had. Not too fussed about it being perfect. I will get big bits like this. Um, so the Massey is finished mowing, which is brilliant. So hopefully I've saved the course for that one and we can set it running on the bailing while we grab um, the wrapper and get uh, these bales wrapped we'll just turn off and unload there let's have a look how many we made in the stats one so we've had 23 off that yeah 23 pretty good to be fair so happy with that so i will get this um bailing underway in four on course play hopefully and i will see you when we start the wrapping wrapping underway see the jcb doing a decent job there i've also and you won't see it because of the trees no well you can just see in the background there the massey top right of the screen that is mowing the cow pasture um, probably will do the sheep one as well but maybe off screen depending on how we get on for time and as well there's all the uh, pallets of wool there that are uh, <laughs> a hazard for any worker let's leave it at that in fact while we're talking about wool I don't think I've checked the price for that in a while absolutely on its knees okay fine <laughs> that was easy enough wasn't it so that's april everything else we've got is end of the year early next year so shouldn't need to worry about missing any peaks in the prices hopefully so what we're going to do with these fields well i want to after we've mowed them cleared the bales um they will be mulched Probably then we'll uh, 
lime, then re-drill, and then roll, fertilise, etc. All that stuff to get the score absolutely bang on for precision farming. Hoping to show most of it, um, and we'll just go through the steps together and yeah, get these fields the best they can be. Right, I've stuck the fence on course play wrapping the bales because the you know wrong way the Massey had a slight issue and mounted the wall so we will take over and just finish the headland on this field and get that all done not quite sure why course play is wanting to take the uh the rows right to the end I think it's probably a setting that I need to change where it lifts the uh, mowers up a bit sooner but for what we're doing now it's not the end of the world because we'll be ripping up the grass anyway so this isn't going to take us long at all cows are like ants it seems there <laughs> Sorry, cows. There we go. And once more round, just to get a few of the missed bits, and we will be done. Just finishing off the baling in field four, and you'll see the fen has completed its task of wrapping the bales for us. Only had to um, intervene once to get it off the wall, which is good. Um, so how many bales did we get off that field down to the correct menu so we had 23 so now there's 44 so yeah 21 quick maths so yeah cracking uh, effort there i'm glad i got the um the bits that the baler had missed on the worker because that gave us another two bales i finished one off that was about 96 percent and then we got a full one, so brilliant. So I've parked the Massey just down there in the sheep field. And uh, we will get to <laughs> uh, get to do that at some point. But for now, we are going to set a worker wrapping in field four while we head and bale the cow pasture. Well, this hasn't taken long at all. We are nearly finished this pass and we've got one more to do. Trying to uh, get the cows to uh, move out the way. Um, poor, poor Joe. Um, but yeah, it doesn't hurt them, so don't worry anybody that's saying he's driving over the cows. No, it doesn't hurt them at all, otherwise we wouldn't do it. So I think I've just seen a notification pop up that says the worker is blocked, which means the wrapping is going smoothly. Not, come on. There we go. No, no. Oh. Mm. So, will we get another bale out of this pass? Yes, we will. In fact, yeah, it's uh, yielded rather well for such a small field. Very pleased with that. Don't know how close we're going to be able to get with this lot. May have to come at it from a different angle, but we'll pick up as much as we can into the cow field now, and uh, we'll uh, wrap these ones up. There's uh, not much point using course play for the last job of the day. Last job on uh, on camera anyway. Um, so I'm thinking that field six to our left there is... Uh, I'm going to plant wheat in there. And my thinking is to do that in March. Logic being that we can use it as a a bale storage point um, as we've done in the past so uh, and then sell the silage in December January time 
and then put spring wheat in uh, in the ground in March. So we'll grab the uh, trailer there with the bales on and uh, unload that in the field and then go and collect the other ones uh, later on. So if we just take a look at our uh, our farmland so we've got barley planted in field 23 we've got canola in field three we've still got the corn in field two to harvest and the soybeans in 20 and 22. so what i'm thinking is as i said we'll put wheat in six we'll put sunflowers in 21 20 and 22 i don't know yet i'm not sure um and i'm thinking field number two could be rotated and be soybeans that is the plan i think so i may have to come back to this video to remind myself of what i've said but that gives us a good variety we've got um sunflowers and canola that can go through the mill and uh Hopefully another cash crop in the soybeans in field two. Last bale of the day being wrapped up and jobs are good in. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it's been a bit of a shorter episode um, and you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Take care.